uh, in the Badlands of South Dakota. I'm going to be speaking there. A bunch of other people will be there as well. Dr. Drew, Dave Rubin, uh, John Mackey, CEO. And this year, the theme will be Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. Please welcome back to the program economist Mark Skousen. Mark, one thing we left off, and that is uh, I mentioned that the day trading app was free called Robinhood, but somebody contacted Robinhood at some point and told them to no longer allow these day traders to continue to trade a game stop stock. Who did that, and why did Robinhood agree to it? Well, the CEO denies that uh, anyone told them, and, and who knows what the actual story is, but it does go back to the Hunt Brothers. This goes back a long time when the Hunt Brothers tried to corner the silver market and the Chicago uh, exchanges basically said, well, from now we're going to change the rules. From now on, you can only sell contracts. You can't buy. And silver went from $50 an ounce down to $10 in one week and bankrupt uh, the Hunt Brothers. So something like that is similar going on here where they basically said, look, this is totally speculative. It's like you said, the fundamentals don't justify it. Game stocks should be selling for five bucks, not three hundred and eighty dollars. And so even if if I was the CEO, I'd do the same thing. I said this speculation has gotten way out of hand and we need to we need to control it. So I don't know if the hedge funds were really behind it or not, but certainly something had to be done. And the hedge funds did lose billions of dollars, so uh you know, um, Robin Hood is owned by one of the hedge funds, and so uh, there there is some some argument for that. We'll probably never know for sure what kind of uh, things were happening in the background. But two things I want to point out that were really important. One is the Federal Reserve has some culpability here because they're the ones who encourage the speculative fever on Wall Street. It's still in existence. This kind of activity is very uh, – uh, a, a sign of a bubble, and we are stocks are selling at very high levels. We need to be very careful. The other thing that I want to mention is Bitcoin went perfectly through this without any instability. In fact, it went up every day during this crisis, unlike gold and silver. It's like the new digital gold, and I think people were going to Bitcoin as a alternative uh, during this speculative bubble. And I don't know how long that will last either, but it is interesting that Bitcoin has been uh, very uh, profitable during this crisis. Well, well Mark, uh, I have never discussed Bitcoin on my program because I never really understood it. I've got 90 seconds left. Explain to us what Bitcoin is and whether or not people should be investing in it. From what you tell us about how, how, uh, how flaky our currency is, it seems to me that that's what people are doing. They're fearing uh, the weakness of our currency. Yeah, well, Bitcoin, what's really cool about Bitcoin is actually uh, the blockchain technology behind it, which is basically a decentralized system that nobody can control. And it's a great way to uh, store uh, data, in particular the trades between a Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is a, is a digital currency. You can't as actually physically hold it. But it can be used for transactions. It's actually used by PayPal and now and Square and, and some other retailers. But since it goes up in value so much, it's seldom used as an – it's used more of a hard asset. And it's basically developing into an asset allocator. So people have stocks. They'll have bonds. They'll have gold and silver. They'll have real estate. And they're also going to have a position in Bitcoin. And that's why Bitcoin is going up. So that's kind of a short – a term about it. We gonna, are going to have gonna, a special session at Freedom Fest on Bitcoin, and we have a full financial conference. Mark Skousen, so Mark Skousen, uh, producer of Freedom Fest again, July 21st, 24th. It'll be at Mount Rushmore. Mark, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it.